What's up everyone? Today I just want to show you a free little clipper rack that I've created inside Ableton. This is great for anyone that's looking for a free alternative as a clipper uh, for Ableton instead of spending lots of money. So really quickly, I'll just show you how quickly how it works. It's just a one dial uh, clipper here. So I've got two examples in. I've got a percussion loop and I've got Pro L2 here to show you what the clipping is doing. So I'll just um, play this loop for you. Cycle it here. So we can see there, there's some quite crazy peaks. If we want to clip them and we want to control them a little bit, all we have to do is dial up this here. And you can see there how it's kind of controlling the peaks on that uh, percussion loop. You can go harder if you want, or you can go tamer, it's up to yourself. So just a one one dial um, clipper, really easy to use. Quickly throw it on for anyone that's using standard or sweet. Uh, it doesn't work in light because you don't have one of the plugins that's in the actual rack. Um, and then you can also obviously throw it on a full premix if you want. Obviously, this is good for sort of helping you get slightly louder masters and adding a little bit of gentle um, saturation there. So if I just play it on this pre-master. So you can see there, after the clipper is engaged, it's controlling the peaks. I'll just turn it on and off, so you can see. So this is with it off. And then this is with it on. So yeah, just a really quick, simple, quick clipper for you there. If you want to grab a copy, head to the link in the description. Um, there is also many other um, Ableton racks at AM Studios, which are paid for, but they're a lot more sort of complicated like this, for like the acid rack, the bass rack, the plucks and leads rack, the vintage color rack as well. And also there's um, an EQ rack on there as well. So be sure to check them out. And thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.